Hey guys, the new unit, the Zombie Slayer, is out, and let's look at his stats. Uh, first, we see that he's immune to plague and poison. Uh, he's maxed out at 525 hit points. Uh, he also does some damage resistance for crushing, explosive fire, and piercing. Um, note that there's a limit of five, so you can only stick five of these guys uh, in there, so that, you know, if you want to get more than five, then you can't use them in the battlefield. All right, now let's look at each of these shots individually. This first shot is a crossbow attack. Uh, reload is seven rounds. Uh, you get two ammos before, two times to shoot before you get that long uh, reload period. Um, but uh, max out rank nine does 104 to 152 damage uh, with uh, 64. It has DOT fire damage. So let's look at some of his shots. Great crits there, though, against uh, units. And you can see some of those crits here in some of these attacks. There's the silver wolves. And now I'm... I just jump around with shots here so you can see what kind of the attacks look like. Um, this is against Rebels. Not too bad uh, against these types of units uh, that you can see. So this shot is a nice shot and the, the fire damage with the high crit chance uh, does make this a pretty decent shot. However, a long reload time. Uh, here's against some wild bunch stuff. All right, now the crossbow, the second shot, which does the plus pattern. Um, it rank, at rank 9, it does 129, 172 damage. Uh, pretty good offense and a decent crit as well. Let's look at this shot against some of the same type of units. Silver Wolves. Uh, Rebel Forces. Got a good crit there against the Wild Bunch. Uh, I think it does another good crit here. Yeah. And Raiders. When it doesn't crit, it does just normal decent damage. Now the Katana, which is the shot everybody probably thinks is the best shot. Uh, 151 to 187 damage. Hits a pretty large uh, part of the board. High offense and good crit chance. Good crit chance. Um, which the crit chance is what makes these... Uh, Units nice. Now I must say that in all these battles that I fought with these guys, with just two of these behind these walls, uh, I never lost one of the units. They will die pretty easily in a boss strike when they uh, become targets, but uh, they have pretty decent health. Mine's at rank seven. It has uh, like a total of four hundred and something hit points. I have to look at that again. Let's just check out his stats here. Um, okay, we would see. All right, max out at 525 health, no armor. Um, this unit's going to uh, be pretty easy to rank up, yeah, all the way to rank nine. Uh, cost 69 nanopods, and the heal time at Advanced 10 Hospital is only going to be one hour and 30 minutes, with uh, 2,400 gold and 150 iron and one skull. So, pretty cheap heal cost, not doesn't take too terribly long, uh, but all in all, uh, the unit, I think, you can, it's just a decent unit. It's just, well, <laughs> I only gave it two out of five stars, so I'd say it's just below average, and I think I'd say it's a little below average because I wish the unit had some armor on it that made it a little bit stronger, and that I think some of the, I think some of the shots should, uh, uh, should hit a little harder. Uh, I don't know. At least one shot kill some of the uh, the zombies that that were attacking. So that would have made me a little bit happier. So all in all, I give the unit a rank two, which is not that good. But well, not every unit can be an awesome unit, right? Come on, Z two. They should all be awesome.